Hello members, LA here. We're going to talk about uh, retest and regenerate zones, what they are, why they're so valuable and that you should use them. Uh, they can greatly increase your performance as a result of uh, you know adherence to the principles uh, that they embody. First of all, let's talk about what they are. I'm going to pop to a chart here as I explain what they are and essentially you know if you have a swing point high it's a and you surpass it. For example, here's a red bar on this swing point high. When we surpassed it, that transitioned trend, right? So when you go over a swing point high, close over it, that transitions trend higher. Bullish transition. Same thing would be on a bearish one here, although the one this broke now is off the chart. It's to your left of the chart. So you get trend transitions either way. A trend transition, once it occurs, if price then retraces back into that area where that prior swing point high or low, whichever was broken, if price retraces back into that area. So here's the bar that broke. And so that bar, you know, you get a breakout here. And let's point to that particular bar, right? We had a breakout on that bar. It was breaking this swing point high. The very next bar, you can see it actually came back in on this very next bar and retested right here. Right? That retest right there was a retest regenerate. So anytime you come back in there and you retest it to see whether or not that breakout's going to hold that is a retest regenerate. This is kind of a special case in that it came back the very next bar. Uh, many cases it doesn't do that but that is the general idea and it applies to the next bar forward. Retest and regenerates, what are they? Well essentially they're the market's way of telling us whether or not that move into the higher or lower territory is real. Right? Because if you think about it, and let's go back to that chart we were just looking at. If you think about it, on this particular breakout, you know, when price broke over this swing point high, right? When it broke over the swing point high on this particular bar, it's kind of moving into what? It's moving in like in uncharted territory up here, right? It's, prices haven't been up here. Now even if they have been up here, like in the case where this bar was a breakout, it broke over this swing point high, even though this isn't quote unquote unchartered, it is unchartered in the sense that as we came up, right, we're breaking over a prior swing point high, and now the question is can you continue? And so a retrace, a retest, is the market's way of confirming that that's real. It doesn't have to be just suspect, in other words a red arrow. It can be on a green arrow just like this one. It could retest. In a matter of fact in this one it retested on the very next bar as well. But that's what it's doing. That's what the retest regenerates all about. It's the way the market tests to see whether that price movement, that breakout, is real. Now if you look at the statistics the percentage of all breakouts that retest and regenerate within 60 bars, remember we use 60 bars on our screen whether we're looking at a daily, weekly, monthly chart. So if it comes back within 60 bars or, or those that come back within 60 bars, what's the percentage of them? Well in the case of a uh, confirmed bullish, and I'll show you how to read this chart, you know if it's a, sh a short term time frame almost 86 percent of all confirmed bullish breakouts retest and regenerate within uh, 60 bars so roughly 86 percent intermediate term time frame it's about uh, oh I'm, I'm sorry yeah so 86 is this white one intermediate term time frame is 88 long term time frame is 99 and you can see what it looks like across the different types of trend. But basically, you know, the worst case is about 82%. So the vast majority of all breakouts are going to come back and retest 
within 60 bars. So that's, that's the first takeaway. Now a second takeaway is just how many on a, if we, if we scope it in now to just the daily time frame, how many of those come back within six bars? And you can see here that the vast majority all come back, no matter what the type of trend, within six bars. And if you look at this closely, the bearish ones come back about 80% of the time, the bullish ones about 68 to 69% of the time. So when a breakout occurs on a bullish breakout, roughly 68 to 69% of the time, they're gonna come back within six bars and test. That's what a retest regenerate is. And if you know the probability is that high, then why chase it higher on the breakout? You want to try to grab the retrace for two reasons. One is it's mo most likely it's going to do it. In those special cases where it doesn't, we know what those special cases are, namely that they're breakouts of multiple time frames, multiple swing points. We've, we talk about that a lot. And there's a video on that. And then also, it gives you more information because when you come back and retest, you can see if volume expands on that retest or shrinks and how it behaves. You know, how does it retest? In other words, does it come deep and retest all the way back down into the bottom of the bar? If we go back to this bar and we see, uh, you know, this, uh, let's just take the first breakout. And let's draw it in here. So the first breakout was here, right, on the upside. It broke this swing point high, so that breakout is that wide. It could have retested all the way to the bottom, just the top or somewhere in between. And once you know that, and once you see how it tests, and in this particular case, it tested on the very next bar, and it only, it only barely touched the top. And that's not a normal situation. And of course, this has not been a normal trend to the upside. So when you see that there's no real retrace, even though you probably should have got a deeper retrace before trying to regenerate, that tells you that that trend is a lot stronger than you think it is. And that's information the market's giving you. So that's kind of the statistics behind how often they come back right most of the time and therefore that's probably one of the reasons most of the time you want to wait on them to come back and see what that retest looks like if it's the very next bar and it's not a very deep retrace it tells you this trend's very strong if it is a deep retrace if volume expands that tells you it's not nearly as strong as you think and think about what's happening if i'm paying up to get into something and it just barely comes back and I'm willing to pay up again to get back in or to get in more. That's telling me that the buyers are very anxious to get into this thing and it's probably going to continue higher. Conversely, if they don't and if price retraces deeper, especially if it retraces all the way below, you know, on a bullish one, all the way below the low of the breakout of the break of the bar that was broken, let's call, call it that, which is the swing point high, then that tells us it's much weaker. And that's good information to have. And you only get that information when it does the retest and tries to regenerate. When do these things occur, right? Well, they occur just about on any time frame, right? So bullish, bearish, all time frames, same thing. The retest retrace failures and success statistics. This is an important piece of information that you know most people I don't think are quite as attuned to, which also is very valuable to know. And that is, is that when you come back on less than six bars, your probability of trend continuance isn't as great as if you're greater than six bars. So the probabilities, in this case, the probabilities of failure, I should say the probability of trend, uh, yeah, I didn't write this very well. So the, the probability of trend 
continuance, and it's really failure, right? The probability of trend failure is about 25 to 35 percent on the first test, right? So when you come back, and let's go back to a chart here real quick and look at it, and I'll pull up a weekly chart so we can look at it something different. Uh, here's one. So here, here we've got a swing point high. <laughs> we've only got one on this whole chart, which is kind of crazy. We got a, actually we got a break on a swing point low here, which was uh, yeah. Here's a good example. Let's use the low this time. So here is a swing point low that was broken on this bar, right, right here. So if we take that and draw in the retest regenerate zone, and matter of fact, this is one of the reasons. If you remember, for those of you that are that are viewing this real time, by the time I'm putting it out, right? This is you know basically December 2014. We started looking for entries into this market when this thing did not fail. You know, or when this thing did fail, when it did not go down again. In other words, you, you bounce up, you're doing a full retest regenerate, and it doesn't regenerate lower, but instead goes higher. And when that occurred, that told us that this market is probably going to go higher, and that was the signal to get longer in the market. So a retest regenerate that fails to regenerate in the direction of the break, right? So the direction of the break is down, right? and then we bounce back up so it retraces up and retest but it fails to regenerate that tells you it's stronger and it's going the other way that tells you to get back in if you've sold out some of your positions or if you've simply been waiting to get in so that's what a retest regenerate will do on that side of the equation on the flip side of the equation right now it's broken over this so whenever it does finally come back in you're going to look for it to regenerate higher, but if it trades lower, then that changes everything, right? That says you're in a range trade at best, no longer bullish. That's the kind of information the market gives you. And in this time, we're looking at weeklies, right? That's the kind of information the market gives you through this whole concept of a retest regenerate zone. So less than six bars, the probability uh, pretty high. If we look at the statistics uh, graphically, I can pull up a chart here. Yeah, here's one. So on a first retest regenerate sequence, stopping out on price or volume based on time, right? If you come back, uh, and this is across the different types of trends, if you come back, the probability of a price or volume failure on the first retrace after six bars is... Eight, this is on confirmed bullish, after six bars. Eight percent, five percent, eight percent, seven and a quarter. So in other words, if you, and let's go back to the chart here, on this particular breakout, and let's actually, let's use that weekly one because that one's trying to do it right now. This was the breakout. We're on bar one, two, three, four. If it lasts two more bars before it comes back and touches this high. That's going to be, well, that will be six bars, right? If it comes back at that point, the probability that it's going to fail, in other words, trade below the low of this bar, and actually these statistics were looking at both volume and price. So in other words, if it came back and volume expanded greater, and whatever was the the, large, the smallest volume, which is this one, if it volume expands greater than that, we'd call it a failure, or if it trades under this price regardless of volume. That's what this statistic's telling you. Probabilities are very low for that to happen. Now, if you look at the probability of a price or volume failure within six bars, right, it's higher, 24, 31, 31, 36, depending on the type of trend. That you know, still probabilities are still in your favor on that retest that it's going to continue the trend. So again, going back to, and we'll use the daily now, when it broke out here, tested on the very next bar, the probability of that failing, this was a suspect bullish trend, 
looking back at that suspect bullish trend probability was 31 percent that it would fail on that very next bar and it didn't so only a one in three chance or a little bit less than that that it would fail and of course probabilities being what they are it did what it should 66 percent of the time it should succeed and that's what it did and it's continued still so that's the probabilities based on that and then the cumulative probabilities are here regardless of you know the time and then if you look at one more concept and that is is that here we already have a retest on the very next bar remember this bar if we look at it one more time this swing point high broke out on this bar in the very next bar there was a small retrace back into this high that was the first retrace retest regenerate that was number one when it finally comes back again whenever that is that's going to be the second attempt to break it down and what this chart is looking at is what is the probability that that second time it comes back will fail and it's based on um, you know the types of failures that could have but just take the cumulative failure it's about 55 percent on the second revisit you get out to the third one it's 73 percent you can see the percentages so when you come back multiple times your percentage of failing becomes greater and greater that's all that's telling you that's a lot of data but that's what the statistics are and I think that you know you should be aware of what the statistics are because they offer you um, higher probabilities in your trades right so the second trip back third trip back moving on to you know what's the practicality of that we know that the vast majority of the breakouts are going to do a retest regenerate right 70 percent of them are going to come back 70 to 80 depending on what type of trade it was they're going to come back within six bars knowing that you know we know also we know those 20 or 30 percent that do succeed they typically have these characteristics which i talk about in the third book so if we see these characteristics we know we might have to just buy the breakout and forget the retrace but if we don't most of the time it's going to come back and we should be observing how it comes back and use that to decide whether or not we want to buy that retrace. It re if it retests after six bars, it's almost a blind trade. You almost always want to buy it. And if we look right now, it's a very good example here. If this lasts for two more bars, the probabilities are extremely high that that first time it comes back to the swing point high, which is at 2020, 2019, the probabilities are going to be extremely high that that is bought. That's on the weekly. Now, flip to the daily. You can, conf you can take that and look here. 2020 happens to be this same high, 2019, right? That's the same bar that you just saw on the weekly. So that means that even though this has already been retested once, when it comes back here on the daily, yeah it's the second time probabilities are higher for a failure but the probabilities are very low for a failure on the weekly so you can combine that statistic and realize that more than likely on the daily it's going to be bought as well and therefore this is almost a blind buy when it finally comes back in at least for a trade and i say for a trade because it may not regenerate and keep going higher but that first time back is a very high probability trade and you should always be aware of that uh, a retest after six uh, that's that one combine with uh, yeah, yeah and I just talked about this you usually want to try to combine these across multiple time frames to see what they look like and so when you do that right that can offer you a lot more um, informed decision about how to trade in terms of your money and risk management for example uh, right now you don't have to be as concerned that you're going to get a, a quote-unquote crash right because why well the probabilities are extremely high that the crash would only take you back to about 2020 and given that you're only at about 2070 it's only 50 points so that's a four percent retrace 
that's not a crash. So that's the sort of stuff that you can use in your money risk management uh, to trade uh, in a much more informed manner. So getting back to this, you know, that's what a retest regenerate zone is. That's how you use them. It can help you greatly in your trading uh, endeavors in your profitability in our total conquest of always you know increasing our probability of success you know over time and, and being pro uh, profitable over time all right that's it thanks hope that helps take care bye